sound dragons. Today we're going to talk about this rare elemental, if you even want to use that terminology to describe this, and seven ways you can work with them. And then at the very end, stick around because we're going to go into a way that you can reach out to one and actually start working with a personal sound dragon guide right now. How awesome does that sound? But first, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Hannah, and I help people to own their powers and step into the driver's seat of their own life. And today, we're going to talk about how sound dragons can help you do just that in such a unique and fun way, really. So for those of you who have been following me for a while, um, you may be aware that we've already discussed most of the nine main elemental dragon types at this point. We've discussed, I believe, seven out of the nine. And as far as the remaining two are concerned, those are very high level. They're, they can be very difficult to work with. So I'm just waiting on the dragon's timing on when best to talk more about that and reveal that, if you will. So... For today's video, we're actually going to focus on a lesser elemental, like a sort of offshoot I was given the go-ahead to talk about and I'm super excited about, and yes, that is sound dragons, and they are exactly as they sound. Huh? See what I did there? These are dragons that work with vibrational frequencies, specifically those that create sound and sound waves. So where can you find sound dragons? Basically, you can find them anywhere because their primary elemental affinity is sound itself, right? And sound is everywhere. It's vibration and vibration is everywhere. Energy is everywhere. That makes them very prolific. Despite that, however, they can be kind of rare because they're only going to reveal themselves to the, the right people, people that they feel comfortable with and that they feel that they can trust, that they have a resonance with because resonance is very important to the sound dragons. Uh, that being said, it you may more easily be able to find them at perhaps a natural spot where the sounds are quite beautiful, quite relaxing. At a concert hall, some of the like edgier sound dragons may um, really be into that kind of music, like that music scene. Um, also places where there's going to be like sound healing happening, like sound baths, even spas. They just really love that relaxing vibe. As for what they look like, um, there doesn't really tend to be a, a specific, you know, breed of, of sound dragon from my experience. Again, as I always say, E did, every dragon is different, right? But just the patterns I've noticed is that they tend not to be natural colors. They tend to be quite flamboyant and colorful or even just colorless and like transparent and not, they won't care about color at all. Um, they also tend to be quite thin and like serpent-like, uh, very much like the, the Asian dragons. They might be more like, kind of like snakes. Basically, think like musical notes, right? Um, they, they kind of resemble that at times and not always. Again, it varies. So just trust your intuition on whether or not you're connecting with a sound dragon, no matter what it looks like. So the special abilities that they have told me about, one, pretty obvious maybe, is they can help in imbuing inspiration when composing music, whether you're like writing songs or whether, whether you're actually like composing music or singing, anything to do with music, really. And I got a weird download. I mean, someone else, feel free to confirm this or not, but they tell me that uh, Beethoven actually had sound dragons helping him. Um, I, I'll take take with that what you will. Uh, but that, that I guess, is a little example of what's possible when you work with the sound dragons and the fact that you can already be working with sound dragons and maybe not even be aware. I don't think Beethoven was aware that he was working with sound dragons, but that's what they're telling me. So two is just harmonizing music. So basically, if you're playing in a band or you're singing and maybe it's a little out of tune, it's not in harmony, they can kind of help like give it a little push, like adjust that frequency so that it does harmonize. I'm not like super like knowledgeable about music stuff. So I really can't tell you the specifics here. This is just the download I'm getting on this right now. Maybe someone who is more musically inclined could share a little bit more in the comments. Three is that they uh, love creating music in nature. They kind of inspire and they can work with the birds and the wind and the air dragons and like the trees, the leaves of the trees, even the water. They'll work with like many of the different elementals to kind of like harmonize and make 
natural music in nature. Um, also bugs, they work with bugs. Anywhere where you're like at a, a natural place where you're like, wow, this sounds really nice. This could almost be a song. There's probably some sound dragons there. Four is that they, they can amplify the effects of sound healing. Um, they really take this seriously. This is, this may be their, their main role as sound dragons is to assist healing and repairing DNA via sound. So when there's, you're listening just to like binaural beats, for example, you might be calling sound dragons to you. You may be attracting them and they may be helping to amplify and speed up the effects of those binaural beats for healing. Five is that they can protect against intrusive sounds. And I get the, the kind of download from them. They don't really do this too often for humans unless we're consciously like inviting them to do so. They do it in nature all the time, however. They protect the animals, for example, and even the plants from intrusive sounds. And uh, a download they're giving me is birds and fireworks, okay? That may sound crazy, but yeah, like fireworks can really like mess up birds. Um, They really can, but when sound dragons are nearby, they'll kind of like muffle the sound and put the, the birds in this like protected bubble of noise cancellation so that they can proceed, you know, on their path without any disturbance. So those are some of the benefits of working with them. But like, yeah, how do you consciously work with them? Now we're going to go into those seven signs that I'm sure you've been chomping at the bit for. So number one, and this is actually what made me do this video. This was like my confirmation from the dragons that, hey, it's time to talk about sound dragons. It's what I just talked about. It's that they are the ultimate noise canceling headphones, essentially. They are the ultimate noise cancelers. And if called upon consciously by humans, they can cancel noise for you like this. And that's amazing. As we, we spoke about in a recent video on the, the Dragonborn, you know, associations with being, you know, really sensitive to sound, perhaps to being on the autistic spectrum. And like, they can really assist you with that if you find yourself overstimulated by loud sounds or lots of different chaotic sounds, for example. And I had a personal experience with this the other day, which is why I wanted to do the video. I was literally like in my room. I'm currently living with my mom and my brother. I was in my room trying to meditate, okay? My house can be really loud. We got two huskies. I don't know if you, you know huskies, they're loud. They like to talk, they like to howl. And my two huskies, they can be a bit territorial if they see someone outside. Um, so my, my dogs were like making some noise, barking. My mom and brother, I think, were like in an argument and they were being really loud. I'm like, oh, I just want to meditate. Oh. And then I got like the, the download. I was like, call upon the sound dragons. They will assist you right now. I was like, okay, sure. Why not? I got nothing to lose, right? So I just imagined that I was inviting the sound dragons in and I was like, please just cancel that noise. Yeah. And I kind of felt it in my ear chakras. I felt it kind of like almost like earplugs, like these etheric earplugs, like coming into my ears and they totally blocked out the sound. I kid you not. They blocked out the sound. I couldn't hear it anymore. I was fully focused and I was able to proceed with my meditation. So that is just an example of what is possible when you start working with them. Pretty cool, right? So number two, this is quite specific, but I was felt, I felt, uh, called to share this because maybe many of you work with witchcraft. Um, and so I think of like, I've, I've done, witchy rituals, you know, in a circle of people, right? Where maybe there's like singing or chanting involved. And the sound dragons, they love that. They will totally come in and they will help again, harmonize the chants. They will help to um, increase the resonance between each of the members of the circle much more quickly so that you're able to create a stronger bond and energetic field and get stronger results from the the practice that you put out. They can also again noise cancel. So if you're you're doing a ritual like in a crowded area like you're outside or somewhere where you don't want to be bothered, you're afraid that maybe people will notice, the sound dragons can kind of put up a sound barrier so that you are protected and no one really hears what's actually going on. Uh three Again, this is maybe quite intuitive, but if you are making music of any kind, as I already said, whether you are a singer, whether you're just writing songs, whether you're playing an instrument of some kind, 
oh, sound dragons, they love that. And they are, they work with musicians and composers and singers all the time without these people's conscious knowledge. Um, they just love that. They're drawn to it like moths to the flame is the, the analogy I'm getting. They will imbue you with inspiration for these things. They'll help to harmonize the music that you're putting out there. It's just all around a good thing if you got, if you're working with music and you got sound dragons helping you. Um, four, kind of the opposite of number one is that they can actually enhance your hearing. And this is super cool. Clear audience, which is clear hearing. It's a psychic ability. Um, if you have not already, definitely check out my what's your psychic superpower quiz below. Um, you can take this free quiz, find out your dominant clear ability and whether or not it happens to be clear audience, the sound dragons want you to know that they'll help you increase your clear audience. They can help you again, get focus and enhanced clear audience so that you can hear the voices of your guides. Um, and again, enhanced hearing like in the 3d as well. If you're trying to hear something, it can give you like dog like hearing allegedly. I haven't tried this yet. So as always, I love to collect data here. Let me know in the comments below if you give this a try and you start hearing things like a dog, okay? Five, kind of going off of the clear audience thing is that they are excellent messengers. I just get the kind of imagery of Hermes, the, the Greek god. They're essentially, they're messengers. Um, they'll, they can ferry things very, very quickly from guide to guide if you have messages from multiple guides or if you, like there's a person in the 3D that you wanna convey something to via telepathy and you're downing your abilities to do so call upon a sound dragon they love like faring messages and playing telephone six already touched on as well but that's healing frequencies they love healing frequencies and if you're listening to them i myself um listen to healing frequencies every night when i go to bed and a lot of times when i'm working with clients and doing other things and they're great this is like a magnet to the sound dragons. This will call the sound dragons in and they will amplify the effects, especially if you're calling and asking them to and giving them permission to do so. They will totally amplify the effects for you and speed up your healing. And seven, this one may surprise you. They can actually help you connect with soul family. How cool is that? I feel like that's gonna be a really important one to a lot of people and I totally did not see that one coming. Um, and what they tell me on this is because as sound dragons, they really got a thing for energetic vibration, right? Soul family are those that are at the same energetic frequency as you. So as such, sound dragons can help match, help harmonize like people as well, not just sounds. They can harmonize people. They can allow you to meet your twin flame. They can allow you to meet your soulmates. And it's it just sounds like super cool stuff that I am so about to play with. Let me know if that sounds cool to you too. So that's all I got on Sound Dragons today. As always, let me know if you got questions. Um, unfortunately, I don't have a personal Sound Dragon guide for you to work with yet because I'm still pretty new to working with them myself. So, but for this one, don't don't leave, don't run away um, because we've got a little homework for you, a little challenge. Uh, if you're seeing this video, the Sound Dragons want you to know they already see you and they are so ready to work with you. You just have to call them in. So your homework is to get a personal Sound Dragon guide after watching this video. And they tell me, again, a great way to do that. You can like listen to meditation music, binaural beats, or if you are like the musically inclined type, you can create some music, you know, play an instrument. Or if you're like me, you can just go in your car and like jam out. That will draw them in too. But do you can do something to call them in and then ask ask for confirmation of some kind from the, the sound dragons that they're around. And yeah, like you're gonna have at least one personal sound dragon guide that's gonna come out of this this pack to work with you, okay? And they they say they're they're more ready to work consciously with humans and they're very excited for this experiment. And I'm excited too. So let me know what you get, like your results in the comments below, like the name of your sound dragon that you get, if you see anything, if they give you any weird confirmation or anything. I just wanna know, as always, I'm like kind of a scientist about it. I like to connect collect data. I'm curious what is going to happen for you guys. And as always, if you would like extra assistance, check out the links below because I've got a free Dragon Realm meditation you can try. It's on YouTube. You can use that to help you connect more easily with the sound dragons, perhaps. I also have some $3 meditations on my website for meeting your personal dragon guide. And in this case, you could use it to meet your personal sound dragon guide. 
Um, and then finally, if you're really committed to this path and you want to work more deeply with the dragons, you can get my How to Train Your Dragon Guide e-course, which will teach you all about how to work with dragons and the other elementals that we haven't discussed today. So I hope everything made sense. I hope that resonated. Thanks for staying till the end. You are awesome. And as, as usual, me and the dragons will love you forever. If you can like this video, subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post on my super erratic schedule. This helps the algorithm along. It helps other people to learn about the dragons and to start working with them consciously. So we would all super appreciate that. And as always, friends, stay powerful.